know do you know the word pain? Oh, uh, yeah, pain, dolor. Well, sorry, pain. Ajá, uh -huh, pain. Well, if you, specifically when you are talking about the throat, you use the synonym sore. Sore. Mm -hmm. If a part of your body is sore, it is painful and often red. Usually for muscle. It's usually only for muscles. And the throat is a muscle. And the what? The throat, throat? is a muscle. Oh, throat. New vocabulary for you. Throat. Throat. Okay. Mm -hmm. The throat is a muscle. So when, when it hurts, it is sore. It's a similar sensation after the gym. Your muscles sore. They are sore. Okay. They don't hurt. Mm. Okay. They are. So try to say that again. How's your throat? Through. How do you write through or throat? No, throat. Throat. Okay. Oh. Throw. Okay. Uh, I am feeling. I am feeling. Um, sore in my throat. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And this is my is the final of my, of my day. But with without these things, I am I am fine. <laughs> yes. Yes, you're starting to feel weird. I hope you get some some medicine, something, try to protect yourself, cover yourself. Because yes. mm -hmm, getting sick is not a good idea. <laughs> no. Very good. And what about, for example, um, um, Rugs, how has your day been? Hi, uh, my day was relaxed. Nice. Yeah. Relaxing, ING. Okay, relaxing. My day was relaxing. Okay, why? Why was it relaxing? Uh, because uh, I don't, I didn't, I didn't yes. have uh, many tasks. You didn't have many, many classes? Tasks. Ah, tasks. Okay, that's, that's, that's super positive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you have all the energy right now. Oh, more or less. <laughs> more or less. That's enough. That's very good. Well, guys, let's do this to finish the day. Let's practice some English and let's go through the, the, the continuation of yesterday's activity. Shall we? Yesterday we were talking about verbs in past, how they change, no? So it can be a good idea to continue this task and doing, making examples before the conversation, okay? So let's go directly to the word shrink and stink, probably the word ring. That was yesterday's, yesterday's, uh, the final part, no? The final vocabulary from yesterday. Ring. Ring, ring, ring. Um, give me an example using ring in past. Here, let's start with, with uh, Pam. Give me one example using ring in past. Ring? Mm -hmm. oh, I don't know what is ring. Similar to, um, I don't know. <laughs> but be careful. I think you said drink, right? Drink? Not drink. Ah, okay. Drink oh, or ring? I'm talking about the ring. The the verb for, for the phone. The telephone. Okay. I teach her, you know. <laughs> well, the only way is the phone, you know? 
So when when was the last time your cell phone started ringing? Or your cell phone rang? Mm, my phone was rang ringing. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. mm. When? I don't know. <laughs> my phone was ring, uh, ringing because my mom wanted to tell me something. Nice, nice. That's a good compliment. Now, try to practice the patterns, the verbs in past. You know? Okay. Try again. Mm, my phone was ringing. Eliminate was ringing. Mm -mm. Talking past. My phone has ringing. Eliminate has. No. <laughs> Talking past. What is it? Ah, what okay. Is it? My phone uh, rang. Exactly. What? Yes. Yes. Eliminate was. That's not. Okay. Easy. My phone rang. <laughs> because my mom wanted to tell me something. Excellent. That's much better. Okay. That's much, much better. This is the the ability I want to, to give you to understand when you are talking in past correctly or when you are saying was ing because it's different, no? Okay. There are different pasts, there are different presents. Let's try to manage them differently. Good job. Good job, for, um, Pam. Let's try with the next one. Okay. Let's go to pattern four. Now, this is very... This is not new for some of you. Uh, probably Val and Karen and, and Jesse, you remember this lesson we saw in the past. Of course, it's necessary to continue checking because we need to memorize. We need to remember these words, right? So let's continue exposing yourself to these words. The next set are verbs that change in the past and in the past participle. This is the first uh, situation when they, there are three different changes. Present is different to past and then the past is different to past participle, right? So let's pronounce this. Mm, pronunciation, e a. Uh. Everybody, e a. Uh. E -a. E -a. Oh. Exactly. Again, e a. E e -a. A. A. Using that specific melody, we can practice win one. Everybody? Win one. Win one. Perfect. Dig dog. Dig dog. Good. Spin spun. Spin, spun. Good. Etc. Right? The rest are very similar. E, A, E, A, E, A. Okay? This melody is for... There are a lot of new verbs. A lot of new verbs. The only... Possibly... The easy one is when. Probably the intermediate one is hen. Who is familiar with the word hen? Is anyone familiar with this verb? With what verb? I'm hen. not. Verb hen. I investigate. Yes, Rox. And it's when, um, when put and something to to hold mm -hmm. uh, from top from top from yeah. uh, exactly so you put it on for example you you hang your clothes after laundry right you hang your your Oh, you can hang art on the wall. 
like posters or or pictures on the wall. Hang. Does everybody understand what's hang? Um, I hang my clothes, yes. You hang your or clothes, no? yeah, precisely. Mm -hmm. Okay. You hang your clothes. Now, now that you understand the word hang, let's try to speak it in past. Tell me one time you hung something. You, Pam. Tell me one time when you hung something. I hung my uniform mm -hmm. the last uh, Monday. Nice. That's a good example. Good one. What about, for example, rocks? Tell me one mm -hmm. time you hung something. Uh, yesterday, when I arrived mm -hmm. to my home, I hung, 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 hung mm -hmm. uh, my coat. Perfect. Now, again, with conviction. And also, <laughs> super important. Every time you say a verb rocks, you need a subject all the time, no exception. When you said arrive, for example, you need who arrived. Um, when I arrive, when I arrive, uh -huh. to my it doesn't matter if okay. you need to say a person, doesn't matter how many repetitions. Okay. Necessary person and, and, and verb and person, verb and person, verb and person, always. In English, is super important. Okay. Uh, yesterday, uh, when I arrived to my home, Excellent. I hung mm -hmm. my coat. Perfect. Yes, exactly. The entrance, you hang your coat. Good. Good job. What about the rest? Do everybody understand? Does everybody understand the word hung? Yeah. Yes, teacher. Yes. Super cool. Oh, well, I have a question. And yes, yes. it... It will, it will be for a coat. Yes. For example, I I hung a call. Ah, a telephone, a phone call. Uh huh. You know, for phone calls, there is a phrasal verb. It's very similar, but you need an additional word. Hang up. Hang up. 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 Uh, up. When you say hang up, you are talking about the telephone. Right. Oh, right. So we have hang up is for the telephone, but only hang is for the clothes. Right. Attached from top. Got it? Yes. Thank you. Good question. Good, good question. So we have the rest of the words. Dig, spin, sting, swing, and stick. I think probably the most, the most popular in this case, maybe, I don't know. What can be the most popular in this case? Maybe sting. Mm -hmm. Look at this picture. Like. Do you see this little B on the picture? Yeah. Yes. Right? This B attacked. This is the action of sting. So when you are talking about, about a mosquito, a bee, insects in particular, they sting. Okay? You understand this? We, we can use uh, this bird with a plant too. Yes? Nice. Correct. You can use it with plants, mm -hmm. roses, 
process sting if you don't remove the that is correct okay so tell me one example um val have you ever has a bee ever stung you or um, has any animal ever stung you uh, i think a bee no the bee never stung incomplete the bee never how do you talk about your life um the v was never stung me eliminate was uh -uh. <laughs> Let's go again. Let me, let's talk about your life. A bee in my life. Okay. Mm, the bee have never. Mm -mm. No, the I bee. Have, you have and the bee. Has. Has, correct. Now question, what Don't... bee? If you say the bee is an specific bee. A bee? Exactly, complete idea. Okay. Um, a bee has never stung me. Perfect. Continue your story. Um, only the spider. Only one spider has stung me. Perfect. I mean, perfect example, but very bad. <laughs> does it does it hurt? Uh, no. Huh? Okay. <laughs> so Unfortunately, it was small... no. Uh huh. So yes. it was a small bite. Yes. Mm -hmm. I can see that. <laughs> Interesting. Very good. Very good. There you have it. This is a good example. Do you have any question? No. Awesome. Mm -hmm. The rest of the mm -hmm. words, of course, are new, but they are not very relevant. The, the rest of the words are like very, very specific matters. Probably B2, C1, they are not important in this moment. Just remember these are examples. I want to exemplify pattern four. Now, let's continue to pattern, pattern five. Okay. Pattern five, the same vowel change in past in past participle. The same vowel change in past and past participle. Do you understand this? Yeah. Yes. Yes, everybody understands? Super cool. Yeah. But it's like uh, the, the other yeah. example, no? Yes. The, like, wait, okay. what example? Before or no? How do you say? <laughs> uh, the the past example that he we had um, checked. Which? What? Which example? Ah, oh, the este, um, sting stung. So is is similar, no? Uh Singular? S similar. Ah, similar. Uh, nope. Look at this. Let's listen to this sound. If you see sting stung, you have this. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. But look and listen to this. Ow. Say that with me. Ow. Everybody pronunciation. Ow. Ow. Okay. Ow. Ow. Exactly. So it's not similar at all. The sound here is not, it, well, it's found. Everybody, found. 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 Correct. Many people commit the incorrect expression to say found. But be careful. This is a phone. This is a phone. Okay. 
this is not phone. This is found. Everybody, find, found, found. Find, found, found. Find, found, found. Good pronunciation. That's the most important section of this pattern. When you say the O W, the pronunciation is never O. The pronunciation should be OW. For example, how do you pronounce this? Wow. Incorrect. Wow. Uh, wow. wow. Again, wow. everybody pronunciation. Ow. Oh. Oh. Ow. Exactly. So then this is wow. Wow. Everybody, wow. come on. Wow. 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 Nice. Nice English. The same thing happens with the word how. Everybody? How. Oh. Oh. How. No, wow. How. Uh -uh. Wow. Oh. Is not correct. One more time. Wow. 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 Perfect. And the last one, of course, found. 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 Exactly. Found. Found. So question. Um, tell me, Karen. Karen, did you lose anything important in the past? Yes, teacher. Tell me about that story. <laughs> uh, lost something? <laughs> yeah. Did you lost something in the past? Yes, teacher. I lost my cell phone. Oh, I remember. In a party. <laughs> in a party. Oh, come on. It's just like, yes. Okay. What happened then? I didn't found. <laughs> oh, grammar. Let's check. Found. No, when you say didn't, it's not necessary. Uh, sorry, I didn't find. Exactly, you didn't find it. Mm -hmm. Do you know the person? Did anybody? No, but this is, I need to speak in past. Found. Okay, tell me about a time when you found something. Okay. Um, one day I found a bill on the street. <laughs> a what? A video? Bill. Money or? Ah, bill. Oh. Yes, pronunciation, pronunciation, pronunciation. Yeah. Let me open. Where is it? Bill. 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 Mm -hmm. okay. One more time. What did you find? Okay. I found a bill on the street. Fantastic. That's correct. Good. Good, good, good. Thanks. There you have it. What yes. about, for example, uh, the next word that is probably important Bind, grind, and wind. No, the rest are not so common, but they are perfect examples for this pattern. I would prefer to go to more common verbs. And this, this is a common verb. Oh, yes. So, transition. This symbol. What is the sound of this symbol? Do anybody remember the sound? No. Nobody remembers the sound? Come on. What's going on? Oct. Oct. Nice. Good job, Karen. Only one student is wake up. Hello. What is the position, everybody? Ot. Ah, oh, it's very good, Jamil. Everybody, ot. 
Hot. 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 Nice. Hot is the correct pronunciation. Be careful. It's not out. That's incorrect. Not out. Okay. So, pronunciation. In present, catch. Catch. Okay. Everybody, come on. Catch. Okay. When you speak in past, caught. Caught. Again. Caught. Caught. Okay. Okay. I like it. The G is silent. The G is silent. Understand? Cut. Uh -huh. The G is silent, so you should pronounce cut. No, cut. That's incorrect. Cut. The rest, similar. Present fight, past fought. Everybody? Fight, fought. 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 Perfect. By bot. By bot. bot. Teach tot. Teach tot. Think thought. Think thought. Think thought. thought. Uh -uh. No O. I heard one person saying O. Mm -mm. Again, think thought. Think. Think, think, thought. Everybody, one person. Think, uh, think, think, thought. Think, thought. Okay, that sounds think, better. Okay. And the last one, seek, thought. Seek, thought. That's it. You are speaking correctly. <laughs> so, for example, Let's translate after me. Um, Jessica Smore, how do you say in English? Eh, caché un resfriado. I... Cold? Eh? I... Cold. Okay, we need to uh... practice. Because you are pronouncing coat. Oh. This is a coat. Oh. You see? Yes. This is a coat. Transition. Ah. Oh. Coat. Coat. I coat. Ah, cow no. Caw. I cow. Oh, oh. Don't oh. make a, I a decision. It's not O, it's not OW. Sorry. O. Oh. I got. Got. I got. Okay, that's better. Huh? I got. I got. Uh, sick? I don't know how you can understand. Okay, it's better in English. The name in English is. Flu? Mm -hmm. What is flu? Flu is an specific cold. There are different, different, you know, when you say flu, you are speaking about the virus. Like, so, oh, flu okay. comes from influenza. Oh, okay, okay. You see? That's the reason it's called flu. Mm -hmm. The cold is like the general, the general name. I got a cold. You got a cold. What a fantastic pronunciation, yes. Very good. If you say, for example, um, if you say, Yamil, me peleé, me peleé con un fan de la América. How do you say that in English? Huh. I thought with a America stand. <laughs> Very good. Uh, Excellent. If you say um, Pam, um, 
Te compré una manzana a ti, profesor. Es el ejemplo. Pam, ¿estás ahí? Sorry, teacher. Go. ¿Te compré una manzana? Mm -hmm. uh, I, I hate the pronunciation. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I bought you an apple. Ooh, pronunciation. You. you pronounced boat. Yeah. This is a boat. But, no. Exactly. <laughs> I bought only oh, ball. I bought. Uh huh. And the T. Bought. I bought. Perfect. Complete. Uh, I bought I bought you an apple. Except I bought who? I bought you an apple, teacher. <laughs> Eliminate two. Person? Okay. No, yes, you. Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. Eliminate two. Instead of two, you. I bought you an apple. Exactly. I bought you an apple. But perfect. That's correct. Good. Um um tell me Karen how do you say um Fernando me enseñó inglés Fernando taught me English Oh nice good pronunciation Karen uh Rox how do you say pensé que íbamos Pensé que íbamos. Ah, está bien difícil. Pensé que estaba más fácil. I thought that this be more easy. <laughs> Close. Be no time. You need time. It was more easy. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. And when you, how do you compare with, with short adjectives? Uh, easier. Easier. Eliminate more. Repeat. Okay. I thought that it was easier. Perfect. Perfect. Um, Val Valdez, how do you say in English? Te traje unos chetos. Uh, I brought uh, out again. <laughs> I brought brought brought. Ah, solid, solid. Oh, brought brought brought. Uh -huh. exactly. No fluctuation. Direct brought. I brought. You, uh, chetos. Chetos, cuál, cuál, plural or singular? Singular. Singular. No, no plural. Ah, plural. Mm -hmm. And you know what? Be careful. I'm going to teach you something curious. Curiosity, people. Do you know this animal? Yes. Yes. Right? What is the name? Cheetah. Cheetah. It's a cheetah, no? Well, Cheetos. These are Cheetos, not Chetos. Chetos is Spanish. Uh, okay. Cheetos. I, I bet you never noticed the double E, <laughs> you know? Now you see the double E. Chester. Cheeto, not, not, not Chester Cheetah. That's the name in English. Not Chester Chetos, you know? That's Mexicanism. So, okay. all of this, what did you bring me? I brought you a Cheetos. Eliminate a. I brought you Cheetos. Delicious. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> I I brought you Doritos. <laughs> Very good. And the last one, look at this. 
seek new verb similar to search. Okay? Seek is similar to search. So let's say, for example, um, let's go with rocks. How do you say in English? Uh, lo busqué hasta debajo de mi cama. I sat it uh -huh. until um, behind of my bed. Close. If you say until, you are talking about time. Okay? If you talk about hasta in this context, you need to say even everybody pronunciation even 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 is even. hasta but when you are talking about situations and emphasis hasta for time is until that's a different thing okay now what how what is the contrary for over behind mm -mm. behind is the contrary for front Yes, yeah, front, um, behind, over, under, under. Excellent rocks. So, how do you say that in English? Okay. Repeat, rocks. You are muted. I thought, I I thought it even under the bed. Excellent. That's correct. You see? Pattern six. Any question? No. No. Good. But don't no. cry. Not yet. You can cry later in the exam. In this moment, no problem. Huh. Let's go to pattern seven. <laughs> pattern seven, we are going to check the a very particular ending. You see? In this situation, all the different verbs have the ending N in the past participle. I recommend to memorize this in groups of three. So like a song, like a melody. Break, broke, broken. Repeat. Break, Break broke, broke, broken. 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 Big spoke spoken. Spoke spoke spoken. Okay, be careful. I hear people saying spoken, but this is not this is not solid. Here you need a spoke. Oh. Spoken. Spoken. So everybody speak. Spoke. 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 Speak. Speak. Spoke. spoke. Uh-huh. Spoken. Spoken. Okay, very good. Here you have this is this is Mr. Spock. Well, uh, three on four. This is your, you know, I don't know. This is Spock. Okay, Spock spoke. Different pronunciation, right? Okay. So one more time. Pronunciation spoke. 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 Transition, Mr. Spock. Spock. Mr. Spock. Spock. Mr. Spock. 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 Two different pronunciations, okay? Next. Choose, chose, chosen. Choose, chose, 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 chosen. chosen. Perfect. Forget, forgot, forgotten. Forget, forget, forgot, forgot. Interesting. Again, forget, forgot. Forget, forgot. Forget, forgot. Get, forgot. forgot. It's not forgot, okay? No, no, no. Ga. Forgot. Remember the letter Get. O? Has a different pronunciation in English, eh? It's not O. It's A. Forgot. Forget. Mm-hmm. Forgot. You see? Forget. Excellent. Forgotten. Forgotten. Oh, yes. Forgotten. 
Got it. Good. Good, good, good. And the rest are similar. You have some probable new vocabulary, right? We have the word steal, stole, stolen, everybody. Steal, stole, stolen. New, stole, stole, stolen. Who is familiar with the word steal? Yes. is when somebody uh, get something that is not there, there? I don't know. Theirs with an S. Theirs. Theirs. Perfect definition, Rox. This is exactly the definition. Eliminate the, the word get, Rox, and say takes. Uh, okay. Okay, instead of gets. The person takes something that is not theirs. Right? That's the action of steal. Freeze. This is the action of the refrigerator. I put Freeze. my uh, ice cream on the freezer so it can freeze, become solid, right? Freeze, froze, frozen. Let it go. Wave is the action of saying hello with the hat. Okay? Okay. Wave is the action of saying hello with the hand. And swear. Swear, 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 super important. This is the action of swear. I swear, I promise that I will study for my exam teacher. I swear I will memorize these verbs. I swear I can have a conversation using these verbs correctly. Promise. Swear. Hmm. Any question? No. Uh, about no. wave. Wave is, is I don't understand. It's only for for the move to the hand. Yeah, or... it's the action of moving the hand. But it's a very specific verb. Ah, okay. Can I'm we super... use in another thing or only nope. hand? Only okay. the hand. Well, okay. you can you can wave a flag, for example. When you do this with a flag, you wave it. Ah, yeah. okay. But uh -huh. you need to do this thing with your hand, so you need to to mm -hmm. move something with your hand and in this case we can use it like uh, like wave okay uh -huh. yes. just it depends it depends on the movement you know because if you do if you do uh, for I example uh -huh. this i am waving my wallet but if i do this i am shaking my wallet okay uh-huh shaky shaky okay, shaky baby can I say I wave my hand to say hello? I ha I wave my hand to what? To say hello. I wave my hand to say hello. Uh -huh. oh. The interesting part is that the hand is implicit. Parenthesis. Mm, I wave to say hello. That's a good example. Okay. Mm -hmm. I wave. Mm -hmm. A classic, classic example is when I remove my glasses, I don't see the people. So a friend waves and I don't see and I don't reply. You know? Okay. A classic example. Hey, Fernando, I wove at you. You know? I'm sorry, brother. I, I cannot see. But hello, <laughs> that's an example. Okay. So let's try. Jessica Asmore, how do you say, se me olvidó la lonchera? I forgot. 
I forgot my. I don't know. How do you say lunch? <laughs> uh, it's a uh, lunch box. Oh, yes. Lunch box. Mm -hmm. Yes. Lunch box. We, we have seen it yet. In the past. Yes. Yes. It's a lunch box. So Again. I forgot my lunch box. Excellent. Let's go with um Pam. How do you say um how do you say me desperté muy tarde? Mm. I I walk, walk up. <laughs> yes. Nice, but be careful. Pronunciation. You pronounce walk. No. It's a walk. How do you pronounce this? I'm. I. I. I can help you. Yes. Let's check this symbol over here. Oh, say that with me. Oh. Whoa. Woke. Excellent, milady. Me desperté tarde. I woke. I woke up really late. Excellent. You are correct. Um. Yamil, me robé unos chetos. <laughs> I stole uh, Cheetos. Cheetos is plural, eliminate A. Uh, I stole Cheetos. Cheetos. Excellent, Cheetos. Val Valdez, Pikachu, yo te elijo. Ah, no, pres present. That's present. Forget that. Um, <laughs> elegí. Elegí al Pokémon incorrecto. Uh, I ch choose. Do you choose every day? Chose. Excellent. The rock Pokemon. Nice. You are speaking English. Uh, Karen, how do you say te juro que sí? Si? Te juro que yo no fui. How do you say that in English, Karen? I, I swore <laughs> that I... I I was not <laughs> close, close. When you say when you say that, actually, that's gonna be your homework. Yes. Yeah. That's gonna be your homework. Listen to this fantastic, amazing song from Shaggy. Wasn't me. It wasn't me. This is the correct form to say. You know, it was me. Aha, uh -huh. this was uh, Pedrito Fernandez' inspiration. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, te juro que yo no fui. How do you say that in English? I swore that it was in. Sorry, that uh... I swore that it uh -huh. wasn't me. Okay, swore versus swear. If you say te juro. Am I speaking I... in present or in past? Present. Yes, of course. I swore that it wasn't it wasn't me. <laughs> exactly. I swear that it wasn't me. That's correct. And then uh, Yamil, how do you say? Le juré. Um, le juro. Lo, o lo juré ante el juez. 
Okay. I store anti mm, I store to the low no. Mm, you can from, see two. Mm -hmm. You can from say the that low. Too. I don't know. From okay. West, is the great low or is that's a very very different thing. Uh -huh. Okay. Just a second. No, I don't know. New vocabulary. Transition. Exactly. Be careful. Ah. Judge. 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 Uh -huh. So all the time. Oh, sorry. Okay, I saw to to a judge. Yes, of course. That's right. Yeah, who else? Who else? Rocks. Rocks, how do you say? How do you say? No he comido. Mm -hmm. I ate. But that's negative. I don't ate. eat. I don't eat. <laughs> the, okay, we need to fix your negatives because don't is every day. Don't is present. Okay. If you want to talk about... Uh, I have... Exactly, yes. I, I haven't eaten. Very good. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, negatives. We need to practice that. Good. Good, good. Pam, everybody passed. Everybody is there. Perfect. This is pattern seven. We are missing. How many patterns are there? Nine. Nine. Oh, yes. So we are missing? Two. We're missing two. Oh, yes. We are going to check those tomorrow. In this moment, you did a good, good translation job. Okay? Let's switch to Spanish. And I'll see you tomorrow. Have a wonderful night. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. See, see you, you later, tomorrow. my people. See you later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.